I'm Sean Kantayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Schnauzers. Come along with me this morning as I feed my 17 little schnauzer, many of them are little puppies. This happens to be Dazzle and this is Little Liberty. And you will see lots more coming up as we feed our little schnauzers this morning. I'm making breakfast for my dogs and this morning, I, I like to rotate the proteins. And so this morning they are getting coho wild Alaskan salmon. And I'm putting three of these fillets in this pot. I'll show you along the way what I'm doing and why. So into the pot with the three fillets, I'm pouring three big glasses of water. I use my scissors to shred meats like this for my dogs so that in essence the water is just um, sort of filled with the meat like it's a stew then and that way I can put it over their kibble. Since I get so many questions about feeding my dogs, I am going to say, yes, I do leave the skins on because I know somebody's going to ask me that question. So yes, skins are on. That's where a lot of the good stuff is. One of my veterinary friends, new friend actually, met through YouTube, who is getting Daisy, also suggested that I feed my dogs baby carrots. So, well, not baby, but he just suggested carrots. I bought them this way because it's a little easier for me. So I'm gonna take a couple handfuls of this and put it in with my stew. The night before, food bowls get collected and washed. And so in the morning, I've got my choice of which ones do I want to use. And oftentimes people will say, oh no, I haven't bought my dog food bowl yet. And I say, you don't need to buy dog food bowls. Use a dish that you love, that you love to see, and that'll work beautifully for your dog. If you're just getting an, a new puppy, say an eight week old puppy, a dish like this filled with a handful of kibble and then water to let the kibble absorb is a great, great way to approach it. And then making sure that there is both wet kibble and dry kibble available. In the mornings you do your wet kibble and then throughout the day, they'd have access to their dry kibble, perhaps, in that dish. So here's what that looks like for an individual puppy. So like Rena getting uh, Diego yesterday. This could be what she might use in the mornings after she's done a little bit of obedience work with him with some dry kibble. And then if you had two, or if you had a bigger dog, you might want to go something like that. And then I'm going to put the Florida Flora powder into this and the NuVet Plus powder into this once the food has absorbed the liquid. Nails are wagging and they have learned to like carrots too. So big thank you, Tree. The other thing I want to point out is my dogs are social eaters. They are used to eating with each other. And when they go to their new homes, they often want to eat with you. So they may be waiting until it's the right time to eat together. But sometimes they'll pick up a mouthful of food and they'll take it. Um, you can see Dazzle has taken her carrot over here to eat her carrot rather than just standing at the food bowl. And I'm sharing this because sometimes people are a little surprised. They'll say, why is my dog taking a bite of food and then carrying it a foot or two away from the food bowl? Well, hopefully you can see why in this particular environment they learned to do that. But that's actually not uncommon. A lot of dogs do that, whether they were in this kind of feeding environment or not. But part of what I love about feeding dogs this way is I never have food aggressive dogs. I never have food, um, I'll call it food sensitive dogs either uh, by feeding this way. Notice also that there's a bowl of dry kibble here that they have access to all the time. I also wanna point out that I put fresh water bowls out at least twice a day, we rotate uh, clean water bowls. 
And I have them in the crates right now, you'll see that. I like to help my dogs get really comfortable going in and out of crates. You see the dog crates around the playpen here in several areas. And uh, sometimes what we'll do in the mornings is we'll pick up all the toys and we'll put them into these uh, dog crates so that the dogs have to go into the crates to get the toys. Again, what we're doing is we're helping to um, get the dogs very comfortable going in and out of crates, feeling really good about their crate, so that when and if you decide one of these puppies comes to your home that you want to use a crate, the crate is already very comfortable for your puppy. Immediately after breakfast time, you'll want to take your puppy and put it in the area where you want it to go potty. In my playpen, my dogs all know that the potty area is right down here. And so when they need to go, they'll just run down there and do their business. You're going to need to translate that into your home environment though. So if you're wanting your dog to go say to an outside location, you're going to want to keep some potty pads by the door. This is my back door that my dogs can go in and out. So that when you see your puppy running to the back door, you know to go ahead and take it right out. Now what I want to point out to you is you can set up a playpen like this. Like I can open this playpen up so that the puppies have access to this back door area here. What I, all I have to do is take the gate, open it, and pop it in such a way that the, um, the gate is, uh, they can't get out when I do it this way. I just push it right up against the walls and then they have access to this play area. And actually this is the play area that I often use when families come to visit their puppies. I'll just open up this end of the playpen and then puppy parents can sit all along in here and the area is open. But also if we see a dog heading to the puppy uh, potty pad here in front of the back door, we just open the back door and let the puppies go outside. So I'm wanting you to really think out this strategy for yourself because it fits with feeding puppies. If you're feeding puppies, you've also got to make sure you're um, immediately providing an opportunity for them to go potty where you want them to go potty. One of these things I love about these window seats here along my window near my puppy playpen is that they are functional and I keep toys and such back up in here. So over the last several days with puppies going, I've given out at least one or two of the cow hooves with each puppy. And so I was just noticing Daisy was chewing on one of these cow hooves and I realized the others didn't have some. So I'm adding these. So now that they've had breakfast, it's playtime and they are definitely ready to play. So I'm going to make sure that every dog has access to a cow hoof today if they would like one. These are my preferred way of getting puppies to chew on the right thing. a scurry to get them. And when they do, they take them and it's just so cute. They're so proud of themselves. You can see themselves prancing with their little toys. So proud. Here's what it looks like when I'm feeding puppies that are just two weeks, a little old, or excuse me, three, just a little over three weeks old. So this little girl, for example, is just a little over three weeks old and she is learning how to eat puppy mush. And this little boy, he's got a little bit on his face. Oh my, aren't you a cutie? And here's our little salt and pepper girl, or excuse me, not salt and pepper, this is our um, black and silver. Look at her. What a cutie patootie you are, sweetie pie. And then we've also got a little cream girl here. There we go. Starting to wag her tail there. Walking right through the food. It's all part of learning, isn't it? 
And look at these three little puppies this morning. Oh my goodness, aren't you cuties? Yes. I will point out that this little boy right here, this little Wheaton boy, oh my goodness, isn't he cute? He's still available, but I will be bringing them to their food. Oh, is your tail gonna wag for me now? Hmm? Yeah? Hi, cutie. Yeah. So these puppies are old enough now that they will go over to the food bowl when they want to and they will nibble on it and I keep it very um, liquidy, milky kind of texture. This is just, this just melts when you push it together. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that when I push that together, it just sort of dissolves and melts. And that's the texture that they like at this age. So when they're hungry, they'll pop over here, but they're also starting to come, um, learn to come get in my lap. And of course, I love those moments. Yes, hi cutie. These four week old puppies have really begun to play with each other in a roly poly way that's always so fun for me. And when I, I come sometimes and just sit in here, this is like, oh, just heaven for me, playing with these little puppies. But the other thing that makes me overjoyed is when I see this. Hi, this little girl is just at four weeks old. Think about this. At four weeks old, she is coming back from having done her business on the potty pads where it's supposed to go. Good girl, good girl. Yes, four weeks old and you're already knowing that you're supposed to go over there to do your business. Oh, are you gonna talk to me now? Where are you? You're talking to me. Yes. Tail wagging fun. And mom dogs also get their bowl of food together. And I enjoy it when puppies have the opportunity to watch moms eat their food. And if we were to ask the puppies for their thoughts on the best food, they would say, this is it. They love the opportunity to nurse when mom comes over and lays in their little bed with them. Very sweet. Dazzle and I love your comments, your questions. Please put your comments below and let us know what do you think of how we're feeding our schnauzers. We do have an exciting thing coming up soon. We're going to be testing the paw tree line of foods here in the next uh, several weeks. And so we will be sharing how we integrate the paw tree foods into our existing plan. So again, we love your comments and your questions. Please let us know what your thoughts are. If there's a topic you'd really like us to do a video on, we'd be happy to do so. Dazzle and I are always excited about what we are creating here. Aren't we, Dazzle? Yes.